Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome to the Jump Street Podcast. Being that we had a YouTube channel here for the last four or so years, I'm a little ashamed to say this, but welcome to my first ever unboxing video. Is that official? Am I part of the club now? Right, so a few weeks ago, I made a video about what my dream skate would look like. I pretty much just took a bunch of different parts from my favorite skates that are available now at the moment and mashed them up into one super skate for me. If you haven't seen the video already, I'll link it down below. But I made that as a goof, just having some fun. And the legend himself, Tree Tree Rudolph, went and actually built this skate. If you haven't seen his video, he posted like a five hour long live stream of him making these skates. But I'll link that below as well, so you can check that out too. This is exciting, this is the first delivery of one of my skates. Now I didn't really plan on making this video today, but UPS came early this morning. So without further ado, let's crack this baby open. <laughs> what is this? There's a little Easter egg in here. I opened it up and I guess this was a box that Tree used or was gonna use to ship something to Ben Sanders from iRollerBoot. Here we go. <laughs> this is hilarious right here. <laughs> I can't look at these skates and not laugh. It's just like I imagined it. It has, you know, it's got the style like the God Skates with the 45 degree strap. Um, he did put a cuff on it for me so that I can actually skate it. In the first video where he initially made them, he didn't have a cuff on it, but he put a cuff on and it works now. It has the them sole plates. I do have an intuition liner here, so I'll put this on. I can't really tell if this is a left or right skate. All right, so here we go. Here's the official boot. I think it looks pretty good. All that's missing here is the frame and unfortunately, According to my drawing, I invented a frame. I made an 80 millimeter Create Original CRS frame, which doesn't exist. But I do have regular CRS frames, so I'm gonna throw them on here to match them up as much as possible. And because of that, I'm also not gonna have the 80 millimeter hydrogen wheels that I wanted. So let me quickly throw those on. Whoops, you didn't see that. Can't find the damn hole. It's in. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the first official Paz Pro model in the flesh. You gotta watch Tree's video on this, but my favorite thing about the live stream itself was that because I wanted the design on the bottom like the Mesmer Soul Plates have them, and I didn't specify in my video what would be on them. So I think the people who are watching the live stream said what should be on it. So if you can see on it here, we have a Be Unique logo, a lot of pizza, NYC, Jump Street Podcast. I think there's a little drawing of my face on there. I don't know what this is, I forget. Is it a turtle? Is that a lemur? What is that? We have a camera. <laughs> oh, there's, there's cats. Maybe that other one's a cat. Uh, there's a, a New York City taxi. Are those boobs? What is, <laughs> Oh, I think it's the Wu-Tang W. <laughs> I think there's a bridge in there. Drums, I think, is that a drum? These designs were crowdsourced from the, the live viewers on Tree's video, so thank you for all that. Um, I never made a, a pro skate edit before, so I think I'm gonna take these out, give them a spin let you know my thoughts on them, whether you should buy them, whether you should not buy them, and uh, we'll take it from there. All right, so I just got back from the session. It didn't go as well as I'd hoped. I hate to report, but there were some integrity issues. We had a bit of a issue with the cardboard in the back kind of falling out, but let's break it down. So intuition liner, super comfy skate, a lot of support from the cuff. The styling is on point. The soles were perfect, everything locked on fine. I can't really say anything else bad about these skates. They look badass as hell. I got so many looks from everybody at the skate park, pedestrians, skateboarders, skaters, scooters, bikers, pogo stickers, everybody was loving the look of these skates. I also wanted to get some wizard skating in, but I wasn't able to do that. I wanted to show how dynamic and diverse these skates were. But if I did that, my ankle would have been on the ground. So the Tree actually got some tricks in with these. He broke them in for me. Let's hear from him how good these skates worked for him. Okay, thanks Austin. I think you may have created the best skate in the whole world. I mean, just with how visually striking it is, look at this thing. It's going to demand attention wherever you go. 
you know, there may be some people talking about the toe box here, being saying it's too big. But I mean, it's the freedom of toes. Like expand their universe wherever they want to go while you're skating. And with how big this is, you're not going to jam your toes like in other skates. And it was made um, very eco-friendly in mind. It's made of all recycled materials. And in turn, it is the lightest skate on the market. So at the $199 price point, I would expect them to fly off shelves, if not expect to pay a much higher premium on eBay or something like that, because these are, these are going to go. So. Overall, I feel like tree nailed the design on this. So final thoughts on the skate. Honestly, probably the best skate I ever rode. If I could change one thing about them, I think maybe if we used a different kind of cardboard, maybe like an Amazon box instead of a Chewy box, maybe that would have worked a little bit. Uh, maybe a little FedEx box in there. I know those are pretty rugged. So maybe the V2 will be a little bit more supportive and a little more rigid, but this is a super light skate. I mean, you talk about carbon fiber skates being light or aeons being light. This is like feather light. Should you buy it? Should you not buy it? Should you wait? What should you do? I would say definitely buy the skate for $199 to steal. But if you want, if you want a Jump Street top tip, wait for the Black Friday sale. It'll be $9.99. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you like this, want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Hit the like button, drop me a comment. Let me know what you think about these skates. I think Tree did an amazing job. What do you think? Let me know. What would you change about this skate? Maybe we'll do another version of these, who knows? Stay tuned though. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.